Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, 7.29 in the morning. Sunrise was about 7.15, I think, 7.14. It's supposed to be three mile an hour winds, but I'm on the south end of this lake. You can't see it yet. There's chop on the water, way more than there should be if it was three miles an hour, but there's nothing restricting the wind from running these last 10 miles here down to the south end of the lake. Well, my name's Jerry. And I'm a twin trawler boat owner, lifelong fisherman, and we're going fishing this morning. Let's go see what we can do. I'm not sure if you can see this yet, but there's a bit of chop on the water here for three miles an hour. It shouldn't be like this, but it is. Speed is about 4.51 miles an hour, and I'm going into the wind. 62.74 water temperature. It's 7.33 in the morning. Now, I have no real place that I'm headed, <clears throat> although we should probably be approaching pre-spawn. The males may be moving into the bedding areas, of which there's a large flat here on the right. But I'm going to fish this outside grass line with the idea that they're staging here prior to going in. And we've been warm, unusually warm lately, although there's a front came through and uh, we were 54 overnight and we're only supposed to get into the high 60s, low 70s for the next couple of days. And then it's gonna get into the 80s again. So let's fish along this edge. I don't know if you can see this. Hydrilla, six, eight inches underneath the water here. As the water cools, the sunlight diminishes, the hydrilla will die back, but there's still quite a bit here might want to add that it's duck season and you're gonna hear gunshots throughout the morning here this is probably the peak time for it it's right after sunrise and the ducks are starting to maybe fly around these guys are trying to blow their brains out And I'm getting a fish. <laughs> That's not bad fish. All right. Now that's pretty clear that to me that that's uh, probably a female. She swallowed that. I shouldn't have waited as long as I did to set the hook, but let's get the hook out. I need a couple of minutes here to get things squared away. So let's put him, her, in the water. All right. There she goes. She's looking good. All right, let's get my fish. And it's doing really well. Let's measure it. Eighteen inches, and look at this. I have a, a working scale. It's a two-one. Okay, let's let her go. Uh, I didn't bring my camera that I record underneath the water, but that's all right. There you go, girl. And she's gone. There she goes, swimming away. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, let's continue to go right down this shoreline here. Now I'm going right into the sun, so I'm not sure how well you can see. There's a lot of hydrilla here.
I used to have two of these poles. I telescope down, they're six foot six inch, medium heavy. I don't even know if you can buy these kind of things anymore. But when I first got my twin troller, I knocked one of these over the side. And didn't even realize it for well, actually till the end of the trip. I don't know if you know what these are. You ever seen them? The wraps. They're velcroed all the way around. So if you got a crankbait, something with hooks on it like this, you can put it on and it will. What do I have on this one? Ah, shallow running crankbait. Actually, it's not a bad idea. All right. If this runs shallow enough, and I don't catch all the Kissimmee gra or catch all the hydrilla, I'm going to try throwing this. All right, let's try. This is a rod that I often put a uh, swim bait on. Actually, that's what I was considering doing, but if this will run and not catch catch all the grass, the Kissimmee, uh, hydrilla, let's see. I'm in four feet. I don't have too much hydrilla underneath me right now. Well, the air temperature is 57. And I'm actually wearing a coat. I got shorts on, but I'm wearing a hoodie. Well, yeah, there's a there's a fish. Not bad. Thirteen and a half inches. There we go. One point one pound four ounces. All right. He's gone. I got that one on the fluke. I don't remember what that one is, but it's a craw. If you can see this right there is a smaller alligator and when I 
throw my bait in the water and it splashes. He thinks it's food. Him? <laughs> no, I don't want you to eat my bait. That's an expensive ounce and a half sink around there. And I don't want you to cut it off. There it goes again. Look at buddy. I know you're hungry, but this isn't what you want to eat. Look at I'm not interested in you trying to eat my Will you get out of here? Let's see if I can get him to move. Look at you. Yeah, go away. Keep going. Yeah, he's about three foot long. He's born three in a few months ago. Come on. Leave my stuff alone. That's right. Go away. All right. Goodbye. See you later bother somebody else. There we go, there we go. Come on. There, it's all right. Come on up here. Come see me. Say hello. That's a nice looking bass. Let's see. He's 15 and a half in length. Let's see what he weighs. And 718. I like the 18 better. Not that it makes much difference. I'll let you go, honey. There you go. Now these are hand poured <laughs> flukes. I made the mold out of plaster of Paris. I made an injection uh, apparatus just on my own. I injected melted plastic. Yeah, those weeds. Like I said, if you don't, if something doesn't feel right, just set the hook. But I melt my own used plastic. It's a little bit crude uh, and it came out to be that color. I don't know what it is. That, this color they seem to like. <laughs> I kind of wish I knew how to make that color again but it's a mixture of a bunch of different plastics.
All right, everybody, I kind of turned so that the sun is at your back so you can see better. Uh, I am headed back in. It's very early. It's only 1030, but I've got some place to go, some people that we're going to meet. It's Christmas Eve. I just want to say to you, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a good time with your family, FaceTime, in person, whatever. If you're driving someplace or flying someplace, please be safe. I did okay today. I got three fish. Nothing crazy, but I just wanted to go out. Have a nice day. I'll see you again. Bye now.